Hi everyone, I'm Trish Triampho Sullivan and we are going to talk about special effects, right? We call it FX, special effects. And this is an extra credit assignment. That means it's not required, but uh, I'm gonna give you the lowdown on how to do it. And we're gonna try to do a live version on Zoom with you guys and have some fun with it or either that or Google Hangouts. So we'll see what we can do. So this is lecture number 33, Introduction to Photography. And once again, it's special effects, or, or for short, FX. And this is an extra credit assignment, so it's not required. Um, but I do hope you'll try it because it's loads of fun and you'll be, be amazing your friends with it. So what do you need to start this assignment? Well, you need to have a camera that you can set on manual. So this is... Um, extra credit FX one image okay. so what you need to get started is you need a camera that you can set on manual So you want a manual camera, one or one that you can set on manual. Right? Um, you're going to need a tripod right? or a stable surface that you can set your camera on. Ready? So you're going to need um, a tripod or a stable surface, okay, so something like a table that you can set your camera on where it's not going to fall off, and an old school flashlight. And I say old school because you don't want an LED flashlight. An LED will be too bright. It'll be too much. Um, so you really want to use a, um, an old school flashlight that has a bulb in it. If all you can get is an LED, um, then you'll maybe put a piece of paper or some fabric over the bulb with a rubber band or a piece of tape or something to hold it to dull the light a little bit because the basically it just it's just too bright it's too much and it'll totally um, uh, white out your whole your whole project um, so to do this you want to make sure you have a camera that you can set on manual um, a tripod or sta stable surface and an old school flashlight now you can also use your smartphone for this, but not the flashlight feature, right? Um, what you can use is your is an app, and I think um, I think I, I, the app is called like Color Lights or something like that. Um, but uh, it's an app that turns your screen into a colored surface, like a light. Um, that's not too bright. So the flashlight on your phone is too bright. You can't use it. It's an LED, right? So, but you can use an app um, that will be like a color, a color thing for you. Um, so that's what you can use for this project. So the name of the app is Magic Lights. And I think it's available for both Android and, um, and Apple iPhones. And if you look at your screen, you go to the App Store. Let's see, we'll look, get it right there. And search for um, magic lights there we go it's a free app so you can just hit your download and uh, that's what you're looking for is magic lights and it'll light your screen up like this with one color or like a rainbow of colors and I'll show you really quickly um, okay, so we'll take a look at the ambient. So this would make a solid screen um, that changes color. So you could make um, actually a pretty cool rainbow effect with this. 
um, and it's not too bright so it's perfect for this long exposure and you can see as it slowly changes color um, and it can actually stay one color as well you can select that if you like so that's one uh, uh, possibility to use instead of a flashlight uh, so we can work with trying to work with stuff that you can use at home for this uh, for this particular extra credit assignment okay so you saw that so we said that you'll need a camera and you'll need to set your camera on manual so you need to have a camera that you can set on manual um, so for instance your little dial on the top here if I were to turn this on would be on M for manual you can see right there okay uh, so you want to make sure it's on manual so that you can set your shutter to the bulb or even t for time b for bulb or t for time setting and i will write it in the board in a second but since i have my camera here and turned on i'm going to show you what what you're looking for here as well so that just to kind of give you an idea so we're looking at my at my screen here Let's see if we can get it so that you can see it okay um, and you can see where my shutter speed was set at two, one two fiftieth of a second. So now I want to change it. I want to go really, really slow. Now, when you get down here where these little um, hashtags at the behind the number, that's seconds. So when you get to one, that's one second. You know, and you hear two seconds, there's five seconds, 13. 30 seconds and then I finally get to bulb so bulb is what you want to do bulb will keep your um, whoops bulb will keep your uh, uh, whoops hang on one sec there we go uh, so bulb will keep your shutter open as long as you have your finger on the shutter release button that's this button right here so if you're looking long as your finger is on there holding it down that will keep your shutter open for as long as that happens and you're going to need that now if your if your camera doesn't go to bulb okay um then you can use like 30 seconds some of you will have a crossover camera where your longest exposure will be 30 seconds okay um and you can do you can do this project with a camera that has say 15 to 30 seconds believe it or not you can do a lot in 15 to 30 seconds so that would be you're counting it like 1001 1002 1003 1004 1005 you can actually accomplish a lot and maybe do one of these um, with that and the other thing that you can really use with this is an external flash like like this a hot shoe flash that you can flash without having it connected to your camera. Um, otherwise, an extra camera with a point and shoot uh, uh, capability that where you can have a, just use the built-in flash on it. You're not really taking the photo, you just wanna use the flash. So um, an external flash is very helpful. Not a flashlight, but like an actual flash, okay? Um, your cell phone camera flash will not work, okay? It's not bright enough, so you need to have either an external flash or a point-and-shoot camera. Or just a second camera that has a, uh, a built-in flash. So... The build. We already talked about the built-in, about flash, different kinds of flash. This is one of the external kinds, right? With the hot shoe, and it goes slides right on the top of your camera. Okay, so to do this project, you'll need a camera that you can set on manual, right? Um, crossover people, you can, sometimes you'll have a uh, slow shutter, like up to 30 seconds, you can use that. Uh, you need a tripod or a stable surface, right? Somewhere your camera's not gonna fall off of and break. Um, an old school flashlight or a smartphone, and you can look up the app Magic Lights. Um, and then also, it, it's helpful to have an external flash, but you can also use another camera that has a built-in flash, and that'll work really good for this. 
Um, so now I'm going to, uh, we'll talk just for a sec about your, your settings on your camera. So you're going to use a super long shutter speed. And when I say super long shutter speed, you're going to use at least 30 seconds. But I want you to set your camera on bulb, right? Bulb will keep your shutter open as long as you have your finger pressed down onto, you know, pressing down, holding it down onto the shutter release button. Okay, so, whoops, if I can spell right. There we go. Um, so the shutter release must be being pressed down by your finger. So finger is pressing down on the button on your camera, right? You have to be pressing down on it or it will not work for you, right? So as long as your shutter release is pressed down, bulb will keep your shutter open. Shutter stays open. And that's important because you're going to be doing this in the dark and you want the only thing to show is what you want to show. And the only way you're going to be able to do that is by using light. So you're going to be using the flat, the flashlight and the external flash, right? To show what you want to show in this special effects. And so you're going to have to at, at least 30 seconds, but bulb is what you're going to prefer. The other shut it, uh, one is time. My camera doesn't have this one. Um, it'll either be T or time or B or bulb. So sometimes you'll just see it as a B, okay, instead of bulb. So <clears throat> time will open your shutter when you touch the button uh, of the shutter release, and then it stays open until you touch it again. All right, that's what time does. But uh, bulb is what we're preferring here. So I'm going to underline it in red, okay? You want bulb. This is what we want. These other ones here are, if for some reason you don't have it, you can't do it that other, any other way, All right? So you're gonna be using a long shutter speed and the only light that's gonna be coming into the camera is from either the flashlight or your smartphone app, right, we're talking about, um, or an external flash, right? So you are in control of what your camera sees, how much light is gonna be going into your camera. Because with this long of a shutter speed, uh, it, your camera's not gonna see anything in the dark, only when you provide the light. So that's what this is about. And um, I'm gonna show you some examples and a little demo right now. So this is gonna be the demo for the extra credit assignment special effects, which we abbreviate as FX, one image. There's three different tricks that you can do for this assignment. One is outlining with light, another is writing with light, and the third is a two-in-one. Um, we're gonna try num the number two with, the, with writing with light on this demo. Um, you wanna make sure that you set your camera shutter on B for bulb, and it must be dark, okay? And we're not gonna be completely dark for this demo, um, because the video needs to actually see a little bit, um, but we'll be as dark as we can be. Um, and you have to use a flash to show you. In other words, the camera's only gonna see the light that you provide. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna turn out the lights, I'm gonna set the camera, and then I'm gonna do the demo, and I have assistant who's going to use the flash in a point and shoot camera. Okay, so let me go get the lights out, and then I'll set the camera. You'll see me setting the camera, and then I'm going to go de do the demo really quick. And I'll be using a um, I'll be using an app called Magic Lights for this. So out with the lights. Remember, if you're doing this, it has to be completely dark, no light whatsoever. Um, and I'm going to be here setting my camera really quick. Let me get this ready to go. So I have an app that has a, a light that's going to move. Um, so I keep it. I keep it against my chair.
chest until I'm ready to go. And then I'm ready to write. I'm going to write backwards. So I'm going to write the word love. Now my assistant's going to come and flash. And remember, the photo only shows when there's light. He's going to get closer to me because he has to be about six feet away. So a little bit closer, a little bit closer. The camera's not going to show you the assistant, so don't worry about that. You'll notice that I use this light and I wrote a word with it and you should be able to see that in the photograph and I will show you the finished photograph when we're done. So this is the demo for outlining with light. Now obviously we're in shelter in place. I don't have a team of people to help me. So I have um, asked uh, uh, the Happy Trails girl. <laughs> To, uh, to, to be part of our, of our little our demonstration here. So I'm gonna outline with a smartphone app called Magic Lights, and I have it on my phone. It's changing color right now. Um, I'm gonna turn the, we're gonna turn the lights off. I'm gonna outline it, uh, outline my, my model here, right? And then uh, my, my assistant's gonna flash, and that's how we're gonna see the model, okay? So uh, go ahead and turn the lights off, and we're gonna, you're going to see how I outline the spokes model here, right? Remember, you have to outline the whole person. You can't just do part of it. You've got to go all the way to the top of the head and all the way down to the bottom of the feet, right? If the legs are spread apart, you've got to do the inside of the legs or the same with the arms. Okay, now we're gonna put the flash. Right, and that's it. So on with the lights and off with the camera. <laughs>